Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. God made a contract, a covenant, between him and Israel. He also made a contract between other believers, Christians, and what they believe in and keep the commandments that they would also get a special reward of the promised land as Israel was given. Now the New Covenant and the Old Covenant uh, contain the most important words God has ever given mankind, the commandments. His love poured out in the Ten Commandments, as we have seen, created the world upon them, and it is the perfect world of love and the way God created mankind in His image, the image of God. So this is what happened then. They set out from the Mount of the Lord, three days journey with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, journey in front of them for three days to seek out a resting place for them. They were following the Ark. The Levites were given the uh, authority to carry the Ark and moved out in front and they went to seek a resting place for them because when people keep the covenant with God, they receive rest, as on the Sabbath and the holy days, but even greater rests. Moses commanded the Israelites to carry the ark and take the book of the law and place it beside the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that they, it may be a witness against you. That's what uh, uh, it was said. Now, they, they, this is the witness. It was written down, as we have said several times or more, that this is the witness. Can't say, it was written in stone, can't say, can't take out words, can't put noise into it, as linguistics would say. It's there. People want to keep it because of their faith and belief in God, or His calling, all the rest of things. Then they have that there to uh, follow without missing any points or anything else. The rest of the Bible just shows how people acted, not completely and entirely, but it shows how people acted toward God and His words. Uh, the priest brought the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to its place in the inner sanctuary, sanctuary of the house to the Holy of Holies under the wings of the cherubim. Eventually, the Ark of the Covenant is put into the temple. And there was nothing in the Ark except the two tablets, God's Word, and where He made a covenant with the sons of Israel as they came out of Egypt. That's the land, the promised land He gave them. If you follow me, in terms of following the Ark of the Covenant, led by the Levites, carrying it, then they would get the promised land. This is the reward. This is the place of safety. This is the place of rest. He says, I have set the ark on which the covenant of the Lord he made with the sons of Israel. That covenant is there. God put it there. When we keep it, he never forget it because he gave it. But when the uh, children of Israel kept it, they did fine. Eventually, they did not do some fine, but that's another, another story. You shall put the mercy seat on the ark of the testimony and the Holy of Holies. The mercy seats is uh, where the invisible God sits on top of the ten words. The ark had the word of God, the commandments within, just like God's word was within Noah and Moses, Abraham and others like that. But the big three, shall we say, not necessarily entirely 100%. Can't forget about the uh, big four which is uh, Jesus Christ. So that had the word of God and the commandments. And they spread the tent over the tabernacle and put the covering of the tent above it as the Lord commanded Moses. And he took and put the testimony of the ark and set the staves on the ark and put the mercy seat above upon the ark 
and he brought the ark into the tabernacle and set a veil of covering. That's very important because it's covered up. It's not for people to see necessarily and the ark disappeared uh, uh, entirely as far as we know uh, unless it's hidden away in some uh, vault in, uh, in Washington somewhere where they kept uh, that kind of memorabilia to them. So the veil covered the ark of the testimonies of the law of command world. To see is to believe. When you don't see it, when it was covered, well, look, Noah couldn't see the flood coming. Abraham didn't know he was going to have a kid. Moses did what God said to do with Pharaoh. And Christians follow Jesus and what he says and the, uh, the various books of the uh, Old Testament. And as, as Hebrew says to us, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Not seen is the Holy of Holies, except by the uh, Levite on those special occasions. So it is very important that that be hidden away because that brings out the faith in the person. They're going to do it or they're going to have to see. If you see it, you're not believing anything. You know, seeing is believing. But a person who doesn't see and believes, believes God's word, what he says, and trusts him and believes him, that's the assurance of things we hope for. That's the conviction. That's the veil over. Having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant, this Hebrew says this, and the uh, Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden jar holding the manna, Aaron's rod which sputtered, and the tables of the covenant and under the veil in the temple hidden away yeah. this oh uh, in Deuteronomy it says but showing loving kindness to the thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments into the promised land and there kept there while they keep their word John says, this is my commandment that you love one another. It's in the commandments there. It's commandments 5 through 10. Uh, there you go. We have come to know and believe the love which God has for us. God is love. And the one who abides in love abides in God. And God abides in him. We don't see the words. We hear the words. We don't see the words. We believe what we hear. We believe what God says. And it's very important that we believe what God says. This is the love abides in God and God abides in him. This is very important. We get more into this thing on the uh, subject. By this we know we have the, that we love the children of God when we love God and observe his commandments. Well, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. People won't keep them. I mean, uh, the best of them keep uh, eight so-called Christians. There are a few Christians who keep nine. But all, to keep all of them seems to be very difficult for Christians to do. There are too many, you know, satanic things that get in their way. And the ark is hidden away. Although the words are not hidden away, the meaning is hidden in a veil that they can't understand. And finally, and greatly, just as the Levites led the people of Israel with the ark. God's word lives, uh, we're going to more of this thing because the covenant within. God uh, has us follow the covenant and, and the revelation it says, and the temple of God, which is in heaven, was opened, and the ark of the covenant appeared in his temple from the veil. We could not see up until the end time and the uh, recreation of uh, heaven and everything on the new earth. And there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder and an earthquake and a great hailstorm. This is where the Ark of the Covenant finally leads us. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.